Hey, this is the Average Dry. Welcome back to my adventures. And as you can see, the Bronco and the camper are both loaded up. And we are ready for another adventure. So come on, let's see where I go. <laughs> Welcome to my campsite. There's the Bronco. Looking beautiful, as always. And then here's this little guy. My little new camp uh, tag. It's a teardrop trailer, and I absolutely love it. Uh, or it's the boondock edition. It's got all the bells and whistles. I got, even got a microwave. <laughs> it came with a Yeti. Microwave. The gas two burner stove. Uh, that's a Dutch oven, cast iron, with the skillet for the lid. Even got a sink. So, it's a little, a little dirty right now, but got the sink, running water, holds 10 gallons. Uh, I got some extra water. This is actually what I use for my drinking water. It's a 10 liter drum dairy. I don't know how you say it. Anyways, it's a MSR. Uh, I haven't really used it. I haven't needed it. I, I was drinking out of my uh, Nalgene bottles. But anyways, I got my fire with uh, two chairs out here and some free firewood that people just <laughs> dropped off for me. So for all of, for using, let, letting them use my axe. So if you want to look at the inside, again, a little dirty. Uh, get my water, that my day bag, that going on in here. But here's a ouch, my sleeping bag. Um, sometimes I I have a uh, no, air mattress I put in here. There, now you can see all of it. Look up, uh, pretty cool. It's got the air conditioner. It's got the heater uh, that don't work uh, unless you're hooked up to shore power. But it's got the vent fan, which is awesome for the summertime. And uh, these three windows that are pretty slick. Oh, I really enjoyed it. It's pretty comfortable. It's just a mat mesh pad. Or, yeah, so there it is. So on the tag, you get, you can connect to your uh, water. You need, There's uh, actually two holes in there. One you fill up the reservoir with, or one you just hook straight to the, the faucet. Uh, and it just, it doesn't fill your reservoir, which is dumb, but it, <laughs> it does, uh, still go straight to your sink. Uh, this is for your power. This is your actually outdoor shower that you can, uh, pop open, you know, for those, oh boy, it's really gross in there. Um, I've never used it. Clearly it's got a lot of dust in there from previous journeys. Uh, this is also for your cable or satellite. So satellite ready. Um, I've never used it because I don't see the point of that, but the, the great thing about it is it's already hooked up on solar. So it's got a pretty good solar panel. I need to check and read what it actually 
is, uh, but you can also add an extra one uh, right here. Uh, for example, I've, I've noticed, see there's a little plug-in right there, and then you can run it out here. See, like where this would get, is getting more sun than say where I'm parked at right now, but uh, I'm actually getting pretty good sun, so. Uh, but it just has a marine grade uh, deep cycle battery for now, and then a 20 pound tank for propane. So it's uh it's it's set up pretty good. Um, I really like it, and it's got the like independent. Uh, oh, it does have a straight axle. Ha! I was just kidding. I didn't think it had a straight axle. So it has a straight axle and a spare. As you can tell, maybe right there, spare. And that's my tailgater tent that I haven't hung up because, or set up because I wanted the sun on me for a change. So, pretty nice. I've been doing nothing all weekend. <sighs> Just enjoying uh, being out here. It's been absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that sun. There's a lake down there, but it's not, it's more of a swamp. I had a friend come join me yesterday. We hung out, took lunch, and then I think we were too full for dinner. <laughs> but she ended up leaving for, uh, before the sun. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but that's, uh, that's water right there. And it's gross water, but, yeah, there, the first night when I pulled in, there was a Tiger Moth RV a teardrop camper, which is made by Taxa. And boy, that's what I wanted. But they were pulled up right here. All the other campsites in the area were packed. I mean, it was packed. And it was an hour after sunset. It was like 6.45, 6.50. And I was like, hey, y'all have an awesome teardrop can i come crash with y'all and they're like yeah certainly <laughs> so they let me pull in here that's why i'm a little uh cocky cockeyed but um i think it worked out great i, I like this setup. i mean it's right next to the fire instead of being over here where they were but i hung out with them the first night they were awesome uh they had just picked up theirs and there's a uh two people that have camped well three people i guess there's a guy at this campsite, like right here. Um, the first night I didn't see him, he cut out at like six in the morning, gone. And then a couple uh, camped out there last night. They were pretty cool. I actually hung out with them at their fire all night because I, <laughs> I didn't have anybody over here and they had all the wood. So, uh, and now all that wood is my wood. <laughs> so, hey, look, there's the Bronco again. <laughs> God, it's just so beautiful. I really need to do a video on it, a more thorough video. I'm, I'm at almost 5,000 miles, and I need a. I would like to do a video. I know people have been asking me about it, doing a video of how I, how I like it, but um, what's well, all the pros and cons. But that's gonna take some, some effort, I think, to really dive into that because I love this thing. But yeah, there's there's a couple things that I I wish they had done a little different, but for the most part. It gets me out here to do all these things and it tows rather well uh i mean it tows this rather well uh, i think it's right at 1500 pounds basically I, I think with it fully loaded and everything i run it probably around 2000 pounds but i'd have to double check that um i mean this thing's got 300 horse and weighs 5000 pounds uh, it's, it's tow capacity is like the 3,300 cause it, it's the Badlands edition. So it has a, a lower tow rating than the standard, but, uh, yes. Yeah, so, so it's like right around, right around 3,350, I believe. Um, and this is it right, right at 2000, I think fully loaded. So I don't have any problems. I mean, it, it tows like a champ and having that, the backup camera, I, I can just, uh, I just hook right up to my trailer, no problems. I just whip it right in, and then especially at night, with having all these lights on there, yeah, it's it's, it's gotten a lot helpful. Um, and I lock everything up, so I got a hitch lock with a hitch pin lock, hitch pin lock. 
That way, I feel a little bit safer about just, you know, leaving this out and then and going for a drive in this. So, it's getting a little smoky. Probably need to go tend to the fire. But check out the sun. God, it's just such a beautiful day out here. I haven't really wanted to do anything. But just chill. And this is why they call it fall, because it's just raining leaves. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> just raining leaves. So if you're at a campsite and they have a privy or like a building like this, has a little toilet, make sure you bring your own toilet paper, because as you can see, there's no toilet paper. And in the summertime, it can be really disgusting. And you always want to make sure you have some hand sanitizer afterwards, too. So enjoy if you can handle the snow. <laughs> yep, just sitting at camp. This is like all I've done all week. Or all weekend, huh? Oh, man. It's just so gorgeous out. It is. I mean, it's like... Yeah, those are a little dead. But a lot of these still have orange and stuff in them. I mean, maybe, I don't know. So this is Lake Brushy. <laughs> um, I guess. I don't know. Looks more like a Swamp Brushy. I don't know. It's kind of pretty. I swam in some nasty water before. I just don't know if I'd want to swim in this. But maybe. Ooh. Maybe it's hot, real hot. Luckily, it's cold, real cold. <laughs> hey, y'all. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a little different than what I normally do and slightly abbreviated from what I really want to get into with the camper and the Bronco. So I uh, hope you check back soon and I'll hopefully have a more detailed. Uh, video of the bo both of them so I uh, hope to see you on the trail thanks <laughs>